Welcome to today's Nano Jumo uh, for the 15th of October 2015. So, today's prompt from the Craft Shark Design team is wings. Now, uh, when I thought of wings, I thought about angels, and um, that brings me to the 15th of November every year where I would pack up a parcel for my grandmother, and it would be full of. Um, cards and things that I'd made. It would be full of um, a birthday present because her birthday is at the end of November and it would be full of Christmas presents and cards and letters about the year and and um, a save card that's full of pictures of the kids that she could put on her little picture frame and they could flicker through there and and all this stuff. So this year marks the second year that I will not be sending out that package and it would be on the 15th of November that I would normally pack the package and um, ship it off the next business day so I'd be shipping it tomorrow. So in thinking about her I wanted to give a little bit of a toast to her and it just so happened that we had the wings prompt today so because she's gone we'll we'll say she's up in heaven for the purpose of this prompt and I wanted to to remember her fondly and think about you know how wonderful and amazing and unique she was and so that is a this is a tribute to her in that fashion so what I did is I drew out her wings in black Stabilo pencil and now I'm taking my water barrel um, water brush and I am just activating all of the Stabilo pencil with the water brush once I'm done activating all the pencil with the water brush, I'm going to go over it again. And the reason I'm going to go over it again is because I want there to be a little bit of visual texture in there. I don't want them to necessarily be gray wings, but I do want them to have that downy kind of look to them. And if you put a little bit of water in here, it'll pull from the edges and give a little bit more definition and texture, and it'll dry a little bit more watercolory than what I've got going on right now. And that's kind of what I'm going for. So my grandmother was one of those fabulous grandmothers that was always in the kitchen, always had the oven on, was baking cookies all the time, and um, whether she was making pies for the local church or, or fundraisers, or if she was making um, cookies for her and her husband's cookie day, where they would just eat cookies all day. <laughs> Once a month was cookie day, and then they'd have enough cookies to last the rest of the uh, rest of the month, and then they'd have cookie day again the, the month after. But um, she was just full of laughter, full of joy. She loved reading. She loved poetry. She loved um, search words and crosswords, and she's a very, very unique and wonderful and warm. And so. When I think of her, I think of number one, her baking and her cooking and, and her sharing of all of that, those things. And like most older people, she had this these um, curls, the, you know, salt and pepper kind of curls. Even in the end, she still had a little bit of darkness to her hair. And of course, she wore glasses and she always had this little bit of a smirk on her face, a little bit of a grin. And then all of my fond memories come from her wearing this particular shirt and it was her favorite shirt that she wore all the time. I remember it from when I was 12, I remember it from when I was 15, I remember from it from when I was 20 and I inherited it from her <laughs> collection when she passed away a couple years ago. And so um, it was a short sleeve shirt but for this I gave it long sleeves and it was this brown shirt so cream colored on the base all these leaves all over the place were brown on it and they were long curling leaves so it almost looked like the impression of smoke on there and then the flowers were this bright fuchsia hot pink kind of color against this brown and she would wear that brown and fuchsia shirt with a fanny pack and purple slacks and brown shoes, brown walking shoes. And that was her outfit for all of my memories. Sometimes she changed up a little bit, but I don't have any of those memories. It was this shirt and those purple slacks and those brown shoes that resonates throughout my memory through the majority of my life. 
And so with fond, fond, fond memories, I'm, that's what I'm going to be drawing here. Now, what is she doing up in heaven? Well, what else would she do? The ovens must be on. <laughs> she must be in heaven cooking, co making cookies for everybody. And um, I don't know if the angels are going to eat all those cookies or what. But um, I'm, I'm convinced that if she's doing anything up there, she's making cookies. So, you know, she might even be spreading the wealth and borrowing the heat from the kitchens down below <laughs> just to make cookies, though. She was too good to, to do anything else down there. But So um, I'm not necessarily very good at drawing, but I took my hand, threw my hand into this just enough to get enough of the depiction of what I was going through that it didn't, it doesn't really matter. It's my journal anyway, but um, I'm not a fabulous artist by any means, but uh, this made me happy. So then I take my Neo Color 2s. The color that I use for skin tone is going to be salmon. And now it, it's salmon, but it's kind of a peachy kind of color and it works perfectly for skin tone. And then because she's in heaven, I'm going to give her a golden cookie tray. Fancy that. Never thought she'd have that. Hmm. Golden cookie tray to bake her cookies on. And then I'm going to try to get that brown swirly shirt in there. I'm going to paint her hair with the gray, the black and white to get a little bit of curl in there. I'm going to paint the flowers on her shirt in the carmine of the Neo Color 2s. And I'm going to use lilac for her pants. Now the reason that I took Neo Color 2s is because I wanted it to be kind of watercolory because I don't want anything to be clear and crisp on this because she is an angel and we don't see the angels. So but if you ever randomly smell cookies, <laughs> then your ghost might be my grandma. <laughs> so there we go. And then while I was filming this, I accidentally reversed my my recording button. So I ended up recording what I didn't want to record, and I ended up missing out on recording what I needed to record of all the coloring. And this is where it kind of cuts off. So next what I did is I cut her out. I cut out her wings. I glued her wings on, I glued her on, and I did not do any outlining. I didn't add anything to this page, but the background here, it's um, something I did last summer. It's flowers that are all in gelato. I did it in the park and I didn't like the colors of it. So I ended up putting gesso all over the top of it. And then, I so I glued her on in the foreground, glued her wings on, glued her on, and then I'm writing this writing these words in there. If you have ever listened to um, Frank Sinatra, you may know that he has a song called Pennies from Heaven. So I was thinking about that and, and all those kinds of songs of the, the olden days of when she was young. And so the first thing that came to mind was, if it ever rains cookies from heaven, I'll know who to blame. So that was what I wrote on my page. So with love, I dedicate this piece to my grandmother and all the cookies she ever made anywhere or whatever, if she ever will make more cookies, who knows, and to everything that she left me in personality and um, all the legacy that she left for me. Here are the still pictures. We have the face and the wings up close if it ever rains. There's her purple pants and her brown walking shoes. Cookies from heaven, I'll know who to blame. Thanks for joining me for today's episode of Nano Jumo. Don't forget to join me again tomorrow and don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like.